so guys, um, heading back into port, just I had a quick look here. We're 14 hours in on this line, and 20 hours is sort of the sweet spot. So I'm thinking if maybe we swing down here and pick this one up. And then swing over here to pick this one up. If they're a really poor catch like the last couple of catches have been, then it's not going to fill the boat up. Now if this is, is a good catch and it fills the boat up, then all's good because we can get back into shore. Hopefully we'll have had enough time to gut the fish. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, incidentally, uh, one thing I have discovered is that gutting the fish yourself is considerably quicker than uh, if you get your crew member to do it. So a combination of those two things is... Uh, mm, you're kind of playing the game against itself there almost. So I think I might do that because that's kind of... Uh, I mean, 20 hours is the optimum time, but 14 hours and 24 minutes is pretty good. If I head over there now, we're going to be there around about 15 hours. If I head all the way to uh, to Hammerfest and sell, I'm going to gamble it. I'm going to pick this one up and then consider, depending on how good this one is, I'll consider picking this one up. But um, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Because then there's only one line, so I can just jump out, grab that, go back in. And that'll give these guys a little bit more time to mature. Uh, and I'm not wasting fuel and time and effort and all those kind of good things. So let's let's go right ahead and do that. Well, that's our marker there, and uh, it's still at 15 hours. So uh, I'm going to change my mind. 20 hours is optimum. So we're going to go back to port, sell off, uh, and then come out and get this one. Just because I think that might work better. I don't know. You'll give the other two. Uh, enough time to uh, fully fill themselves. This is slightly less than half a catch, half a f half a hold. Um, but we've only got fifteen thousand kroner left in the bank, so really, I really, really, really want to uh, get some cash in here. Especially since we we need to be at least minimum at the end of the month. We need to be um, above nineteen thousand, which is what we owe to the bank. So. Um, we've got 10 days, so this haul that we've got here is like half a catch, that could be 10,000 kroner. That would at least give us enough money to uh, pay the loan that we owe to the bank. And then, uh, then we can come out and um, grab the rest of them. That's my plan. That's what we're going to do, Captain Speaks. Decision made. So guys, here we are back at Hammerfest. It seems like an awfully long time since we were here last. Speed limit of six knots. We'll adhere to that. Some things I'm really hoping to see, uh, speeding fines, um, manual docking, and also the ability to take your boat out of the water. I see there's a ramp there, and um, it would be great if you had to pull your boat out of the water to do repairs, and uh, your boat became unoperational for a period of time. Now, I... <laughs> I'm Sim UK. I'm all about ultimate realism. The more realistic it is, the better. There are a lot of people who don't feel that way. And I just feel like, although the developers are making a real great effort to make this a very decent uh, simulated experience, they are going to alienate some people by doing that. And I just wonder whether or not they should have like a switch. Full simulation, semi arcade arcade and full simulation that would be cool um i would never personally i would never play simulation uh, what am i talking about personally i would never play arcade i would only play simulation but there are people who are the complete polar opposite of that and for those people you know maybe fast travel does unlock 
uh, bigger boats, who knows, I don't know. But, just a thought, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I appreciate everything they're doing, I think it's fantastic. But uh, maybe they'd benefit from uh, having both options available to people, who knows. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that particular uh, question. Uh, what would you like to see? Full simulation or arcade and simulation? Or maybe even just arcade. Um, in which case, I don't think this is the game for you. I really don't. But let me know in the comments what you think. And um, I can always pass it on to the devs. And uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what you guys think. Um, even if it makes no difference to the game whatsoever. Let's sell our fish. That is a really poor catch, isn't it? What's this? 15k. 21k. I, ne I generally nearly said 20k. So that has earned Einar Haraldson, or Harold as we like to call him, 1,278 kroner. So uh, yeah, I mean he's not making big money, but then neither are we. I don't know, 21,000 seems a lot more than 1,200. But at least we have enough to pay the uh, bank this month. So that alone is good. Right, now, oh. Go to the fish market. I was hoping to catch that at the right time there. Oh, this is weird. Are all of our lines out? They are all out. Hmm. Yeah. Can I buy more lines or not? I don't know. Ah, interesting. Let's look at the map. What are we looking at here? 16 hours. 17 hours. All right, we need to go pick these up. No messing about, straight out. Let's go fishing. How you feeling, buddy? Good old Harold. Excelente. Right, Harold, we're going to have you uh, hauling in the long lines. Incidentally, guys, I have requested from the dev team that they consider, um, let's say, for example, he is long line hauling uh, whether it automatically go to hand gutting or if he completes hand gutting it'll automatically go back to resting because if you had a, a member of crew on board of, of your ship and they didn't know what to do after completing a job I think they'd have to learn quickly or you just have to get rid of them so that's the way I see that right uh, I shall see you guys when we hit our first net or our first line Okay, so I find myself in an interesting dilemma. This one has gone green. Um, now, as I understand it, I'm going to have to talk to the devs about this because I'm confused by the whole thing. Oh, incidentally, by the way, I did talk to uh, I did talk to the devs about when I, when I upgraded my boat that I lost all my lines, uh, and so I've inquired about that, and apparently, well. That's not really the way it should work, and I think they're going to probably change that. So <clears throat> it's not a bug as such, as it's currently a feature, but I think they're going to adjust that feature so that you keep your line. So in when, on release day, or maybe just after in, in an upcoming update or whatever, you'll probably find that um, that won't you won't experience that. You won't have that issue. So this is 17 and a half hours. This one is been in the water a lot longer, 18 hours and 40 minutes. But this one's gone green, which means it's prime for picking. Now, I always thought 20 hours was the optimum area, but maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, um, you know, somewhere around 20 hours, which kind of makes more sense, I guess. To be so precise as to say, if you pick this up at, at exactly 20 hours, you'll get the best haul. That's how lazy games do it. But if they've implemented this in the way that they say, listen, if you leave it for about 20 hours, you're going to get a good haul, then that's good. If that is the case, if it's not exactly 20 hours and it's somewhere around 20 hours, which I prefer, then I find the fact that you get this colour-coded indication that this is at prime and this isn't a little bit too easy. Now, maybe that's... I mean, I'm ultimate realism. I want it to be as tricky as, as hell. I want it to be, you know, guesswork, uh, a bit of experience, a bit of... I don't know. I just find that a little bit too easy. 
a little bit too easy because I'm heading here. I made the decision that we're going to go pick long line two up first so that on the way back in we can pick up long line one. But, you know, I've, I've passed line one on the way to line two and then realised, well, hang on a second, this one's at prime picking level. So, I mean, I'm, I am going to have to turn around and go pick this up because you'd be a fool not to, would you not? But uh, I'm just curious um, whether I'm alone in that kind of quandary, not quite sure if I like it, not quite sure if it's a benefit type scenario. Um, still, whatever the situation is, it's green, we're going to go pick it up. And uh, depending on how full our boat is, uh, or our hold is, uh, will dictate whether or not we go straight back to the port and sell or whether we go on to the next thing and um, and basically work from there. Okay, so I've just spotted my line. Uh, let's get Harold on the long line haul. We'll go first person. I do like having a crew member on board because it does mean that I get to do a lot more first person uh, ship sailing. Hang on, where's that first boy? There it is. Okay, good. Just gonna swing around this one. Wait until it's in line with that. Off the power. Hopefully I need a bit more power just to keep moving forwards. I do feel like the boat physics um, caused the boat to stop a little bit too quickly. Um, if you've ever been on a boat, you'll know that stopping is uh, something you have to plan. <laughs> It doesn't whoa whoa what happened there we just went full speed all of a sudden okay all right zoom in and see how he does so he missed that one pillock wake up get rid of all this crap a minute so that one's okay that's a haul of two that one was okay he doesn't seem to be capable of getting anything higher than an okay Maybe that's accurate. I don't know. I don't know. We seem to be doing a bit better on this line. A little bit better on this line. I mean, there are fish on it. That's a bloody good start because we have had a few lines that have got no fish on at all. But yeah, definitely this appears to be... Let's just check. Oh, interesting. It doesn't update this whilst they're coming in. It waits until that finishes. Okay, well, that's fine. That's not an issue. Actually, this is turning, this is looking like a pretty decent haul. Uh, we've got like 14, 15 fish on here. It's kind of cool watching somebody else pull it in. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this. But if you get close enough, you can hear the same gory uh, fish hauling in noises that you hear when you do it yourself. Now, that was a big fish. Did you see that? Does it still show if he does good or okay or... Missed it. Mi you flipping fool. That's two you've missed. That was okay. This is a good haul. That was okay. Right, job done. Alright, let's bring this up. So, we've got some fish. There's like a third of our boat... So we are going to go and um, so we get him f uh, gutting those fish and we're going to head round and go straight for our next line and uh, hopefully we'll get the same sort of haul again. That was pretty good. So somewhere off in the very near distance. Oh, there's my marker there. So, based on that, our our line should be almost smack bang in front of us. Oh, yep, yeah, I see the line. See the line. And there's the... Okay, right. So, we're going to come this side so that we've got the line on our starboard. We'll ignore that marker. I might actually recommend that it's a bit easier to get rid of a marker because at the moment um, 
it's not that easy. Right, hang on, let's just go, go to the phones. You're going to need to haul that line in, and I hope he has enough energy to do it, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. I don't know what happens if he runs out of energy midway through hauling a line in. What happens? Can I take over, or do we just lose the lot? Do we lose the line? I don't imagine we lose the line, but... We definitely lose the fish. Oh, oh, that was too much backward motion. Now, unfortunately, uh, controller support is not fully implemented yet, guys. Uh, maybe when at release date it will be, uh, but certainly at some point in the future it's going to be. And I'm looking forward to that because having like a, a thruster, uh, a joystick, a hot ass to, uh, to uh, control the boat is going to be a lot more fun. A lot more fun. Especially if I can get a wheel and a hot ass going at the same time, that would be pretty awesome. So, I mean, he's pretty tired. I, I can't feed him whilst he's there, which is annoying. I can only feed him when he's resting. Um, I semi-agree with that. I can see why that's implemented that way. I'm a bit concerned if he doesn't successfully uh, complete this line. This is a good catch. I forgot to check, actually, uh, what colour the catch was, but yeah, I, I, so far we're doing well. Hey, you got a good one. A good, 3% good. And back to OK. <laughs> I mean, his long line hauling is his second best capable ability. He, he really ought to be doing better than this. Yeah, he's looking really tired. Oh, that's it. That's the catch done. Okay, good. Well, uh, I think we're going to put you in rest, give you a burger. So he's going to go back inside, back downstairs. How are we doing over here? Nine hours, eight hours. Perfect. And we are about halfway full. And that was two 250 lines, I believe. Let me check. These are 500s, aren't they? Yeah. So I think the two 500s is going to fill our boat up completely. So what I might do is head back to uh, port. And if uh, Harold is not energized enough to sort of take over his responsibilities of gutting the fish, I might just do it myself because do it, doing it myself is almost instantaneous. So, um, yeah, that might be the way to fix this problem. For the captain to come down and start gutting fish when that's your job. <sighs> What's your job? So here we are guys, I've kind of, I was totally distracted, talking to, I can't talk at all, I was totally distracted talking to the devs uh, about, <laughs> just having a joke and a laugh really, about uh, pre-release uh, demands that need to be in place. Um, I requested that it was, you know, we were able to rent a property uh, in amongst here and be able to drive our car from our property to the dock. Um, yeah, and I, I just wanted that before release, you know, as well as multiplayer and the ability to fly aircraft. So, yeah, just having a bit of a joke and a laugh prior to release. These guys are working really hard. So if anything is broken and anything doesn't work on release day, honestly, um, Normally, you jump all over these guys and say, ah, oh, you can't release it in this state or whatever. If anything is broken and you have an issue with it, just go easy on these guys, because these I swear to God, um, I mean, 
direct communication with them and they are working so hard to get not only uh, everything working perfectly as best they can but also to implement tweaks and improvements and enhancements that people have suggested over the last couple of weeks they really are working so hard so just bear that in mind if you feel if you feel the need to shout out and scream and holler then um, yeah just just bear in mind that they are working super hard to get this right and they're going to be working super hard even after release in fact the day this game releases they're probably going to be going into overload so yeah they're, they're, they're putting the hours in and, and they care about their game as well they really do so just give them a little bit of a break don't by all means tell them if something's wrong but just be cool about it that's all I'm asking right Let's dock at Hammerfest and uh, what the hell are we doing? I complete, I've, I've completely distracted myself. So Harold is very slowly dealing with these uh, fish here. Now, can I do it myself? That's the question. Is there a way for me? It's not doing bad, look. They're mostly 5, 4 and 3 star, and that's more than I can manage. So he's actually pretty good at gutting fish. Right, but if I click on gut fish, that brings me to the table. I can start. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, wow. That's a bad one. Yeah, ah. Oh. See, I don't think he had many 2 stars, so uh, he's actually... Much better at this job than I am. Oh, crikey, that was all over the place as well. The only benefit of me doing it is that it's quicker. Much, 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 much quicker. Jeepers. I've got to get one good one, surely. There we go. No, that wasn't even good. That's three stars, four stars. At least we got some fish, though. Oh, here we go, here we go. That was a balanced... Mm, yeah, yeah, that was more like it. Oh, wow, that's tricky. All right. So that's the way to do it, guys. Um, it's super quick to do it yourself. Super duper flipping quick to do it yourself. But maybe, based on uh, what we were looking at there, where is it? There's, uh, yeah. I mean, look at that. Look, see, it was all five, four, three. Then I took over and it all went four, two, three five <laughs> so i totally root i mean he was definitely doing a better job than i was but at least i got it done quickly so there's that to consider uh so he, he's pretty well rested you useless flipping pillock harold uh but that's probably more to do with my poor skipper management skills than anything else have we sold these flipping fish uh here we go here's our opportunity 201, 120, and 25. That is a really poor catch. And the fact that that's taken up half of our boat is not filling me full of confidence. 26,000, that is not a good haul. At least we've got to the point where we have paid Harold off. So Harold, at least, we've, we've made enough money out of Harold that he's paid for his own existence on the boat. So that's something. Um, we're going straight out though we're not going to be messing around here we want to go straight out um, and we want to come on turn goodness me we want to go let's just bring out the map we want to go straight out we want to pick up these lines 12 hours 11 hours yeah okay so we're, we're not in any rush to pick up these lines but we do need to go get them we're going, we're going to go out, we're going to pick these lines up, we're going to bring them back in, we're going to sell whatever we catch. Hopefully, I mean, these are 500 lines. These are both 500 lines in a prominent hotspot area. So, in all reality, in all existence of anything humane, we ought to be catching a decent amount of fish here. What have we got in the bank? We've got 63,000 kronar. Nine days to go until uh, we need to pay our um, interest back on the bank loan that we had. It's not been good, has it? 
Um, I mean, the first couple of lines were an absolute disaster. Uh, our employee is, well, he's, he's actually flipping amazing and gutting. Hauling fish in is a bit sucky. Um, so maybe, I mean, maybe that's, if I think about it enough, that's actually quite realistic. You know, you, you say, okay, you're, you're pretty good at gunning fish, and I'm better than you at hauling fish in. So maybe if we do one of those jobs each, then he won't get so tired as quickly. Although he's pretty slow to process those fish. Yeah, that's one thing I might bring up with the devs actually, is he's, he's pretty flipping slow to, uh, to process those fish, um, to gut those fish. It takes me minutes, whereas it, it takes him a lot longer, but he's a lot better. It's a difficult one to decide. Let me know in the comments what you think about that particular uh, scenario. Is it, is it better the way it is, or should he be a bit quicker? Let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll haul the fish in and he can gut them. I mean, let's be fair, if there's only two of you on, on the boat, and uh, I'm doing all the crappy work and you're just sailing the boat, then you're an ass, and I don't like you very much. So yeah, maybe I should pull my thumb out and be a bit more proactive. Let's just whack down a, way, uh, a waypoint here so that I know where I'm flipping going. And uh, I'll see you guys when we get there, I guess. Well, I nearly missed it there. We're just going to pull in just in time. Too busy talking to the devs. I think we're going to be close enough. Well, I mean, we're definitely going to be close enough. I think the angle is going to be just about right. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay here. Let's pop outside and see how he does. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe we're not going to be close enough. I was wrong there, wasn't I? Back it up a tad. Okay, here we go, here we go. Need a decent haul out of you, please, today, Harold. So, I mean, if I was right in my... Um, in my understanding that the number of fish on the line is my responsibility, and the quality of the cat oh crikey what the heck why am i only getting like two fish what is going on i was halfway well it wasn't even halfway through i was uh, at the beginning of making a conversation about uh the reality that i am responsible for the quality of the catch, uh, as in the number of fish on the line, based on where I put the line. Hang on, where, where is my second? That's a marker over there. That, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the actual fish line. So he's responsible for how good the catch is, i.e. how many fish we get off the line. But the number of fish on the line is my responsibility. Where the hell is this? Now, I suppose I took a bit of a gamble based on what I was told by the dev. Um, placing the line sort of 100 meters apart or more should be enough to ensure that each catch is, you know, unique in its area. But that doesn't seem to be the case because these are a good two to 300 meters apart. And yet that first line despite being in a, a hot spot and the uh, sonar confirming that there were fish in the area pulled in absolutely nothing and maybe that is fishing um, and occasionally that will happen but 
it seems to me that it's a regular occurrence if you have two lines in the same area. But I think it's perfectly legitimate to, to lay two lines in the same area. If that isn't the case, if you're a fisherman and you know whether, the, whether or not that is uh, a sort of a regular occurrence, laying two lines within, say, 500 metres of each other, then please do let me know in the comments section. All right, let's see how this 500... Let's see how this 500 spans, uh, pans out. Jeez, whiz, I cannot speak today. So he's doing okay. But how many, how many fish are going to be on this line? It's 500 long, so... One of them's got to be half decent, at least. Gee, whiz! That just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Alright, get gutting those fish, please, buddy. <laughs> Let's be fair, you are a lot better at gutting the fish than I am. There is... Uh, I think there's a... I think there's an issue here. I'm concerned by the... Lack of fish caught there. 